Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Laging tandaan, walang higi pa, wala nang iba pa, si Jesus lang. How are you today, everyone? I hope you enjoy. This music, this song was sung by the Lady Clemente. Because when I used the, the other one uh, from the YouTube, the Facebook is claim I don't have the right, right copyright. So the lady is the sing and we tried this morning. How did you find? It's good. Um, I tried to bring the better intro music for waking up everybody in the morning. Today, we are sharing very interesting the Bible on, in Old Testament is the book of Jonah. Do you know about Jonah? Ah, the one who was three days, three nights inside the big fish. That is the Jonah. We call him reluctant prophet. This Jonah, if you see the Old Testament, it's just a four page, very short the, the story in Bible. From the chapter one to chapter four. It's total 48 verses. It's this the Jonah book, the Jewish people, they most they are most favored. Every time they gathering, they read these 48 verses. Why? Because this Yonah is kind of looks like the Hebrew people and the Jewish people that are representing the story. Uh, the Yonah, you know, uh, he was in the uh, North Israel in the year something like the B4 Christ, BC about 760 year before Christ, 760 year before the Yonah was there. That is the North Israel. That time the king is the Yeroboam II. Yeroboam II. He was the also strong king. And then there's a neighbor, it's the very strong enemy, the cruel enemy is Assyria. So actually later on, the North Israel was conquered by the Assyria. So the Assyria is the one of the their big enemy. But the, what happened, the God ordered to Yonah in going to the chapter, Yonah starting like this, the chapter one, verse one to three, the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of the Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its weakness has come up to before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarsis. He went down to the Yopa where he found the ship bound for the port. After paying the fare, he went on board and sailed for Tassisi to flee from Lord. Yonah is the prophet. God instructs him. You go to Nineveh. Nineveh is the capital of uh, Assyria, the kingdom. Uh, it's along the, uh, uh, near to, today's uh, uh, near to Iran and Iraq, the border there, the Nineveh. And then, Yonah is against of the instruction of God. This is not the attitude of the prophet. And then, he go to the Yopa. Yopa is the, in the, along the Mediterranean of Israel. <clears throat> near to Tel Aviv today. 
and they he they support he go there and then he take the one boat is leaving the tassis tassis is the old name but the middle century name is the espana today is the spain so he riding the boat from Europa to the Spain, he paid the money, and he flee from God. He want to run away from the God, because the uh, Israel, Israel here, and then Assyria here, and Jerusalem to Nineveh is about uh, uh, seven hundred fifty kilometer. It's about 550 miles in north. But he went to the uh, west and take the boat, go to the Spain. Long way, the other way. The Nineveh is here. So it seems like the, he really flee from the God. And what happened? The ship, you know the story, right? Maybe when you are young, your mother or your father is shared this the Yona and the big fishes. And then the boat faced a very strong wind and stormy. And the sailor, the seamen, they pray to their God, please to come down. You know the the like the those times there's many God, but in Greek, the who is the God of the ocean, sea? The name is a Neptune. Neptune with the three folk, the uh, swan. He is the god of the uh, sea. Maybe seamen, they bow, they worship it, but it's nothing happened. And then uh, they found the Yona is asleep inside the ship down there. They bring it up. Why don't you pray to your god? Uh, we pray to our god. You also pray your god. And then he declared the Yona is declared is uh, verse one to nine. <clears throat> he answered, "I am Hebrew, and I, I wash the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and land." He declared, "I am Hebrew, the Israel, and I used to worship to our God, the God of heaven. He making the sea and the land." And then the sailor, they know, they heard about this, uh, this God. So <clears throat> they asking why, why you are take on board? Where you come from? They are asking so many things. And then he said, "Oh, maybe I'm free from my God." That's why the seamen the, get the notice. Ah, because of this guy, the his God is angry. So they punished to us by windy, stormy. And then the Yona, maybe that time, he's really the feeling, oh, I better die. I better suicide. Because God may be angry to me. And no more hope. That was not. So he offered himself on the verse 12. Uh, he said, Pick me up, throw me into the sea. He replied, and it will become calm. I know that it is my fault that this great storm has come upon you. He de declared to the seaman, it might be my fault. God is angry, so you throw me to the sea, and then it will be calm. You know, the uh, <clears throat> in our Bible, in New Testament, the, the follow of Jesus Christ, there's a Peter and also Cairo Judah, who sell, who sold the Jesus. Uh, these two persons are all same disciple of Jesus, but the, they commit the also wrong and sin against the Jesus, because the Peter denies three times, I don't know him, I don't know Jesus. And later on, he come back to Jesus, is asking forgiveness. And he come back to God. But the Judah, the kind of Judah, he sold the Jesus. He feels so heavy, I did wrong thing. 
And then he decided to suicide, to hang himself. It's not come back. It seems like the Jonah is the character of Jonah in between like the Peter, also the Judah. His character now, he say, he come like the looks like Judah, throw me to the sea. So he, he take the, uh, kill himself. And what happened to the seaman is follow him. He throw him to the sea. And the sea is calm, really. And then what happened to the seaman? They do not believe the God of Jonah. Now they worship him. They believe the Hebrew God is the real God. And what happened? On the uh, 17, uh, 16 and 17, at this man greatly feared the Lord, and they offer a sacrifice to the Lord and made vow to him. But the Lord provided a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was inside the fish three days and three nights. So Jonah, the God is prepared a big fish. Maybe today they say the whale, but it's not sure. The, the Bible just said the great fish, big fish, and it swallowed him. He was there three nights, three days. The God is already prepared to save him. God knows everything what's going on. Uh, what's the Yonah see? Where he going? God knows everything. You have to know this. God knows everything what you are doing. Even in darkness, even on the sun, even you cannot see him. He knows everything what we are thinking, what we are doing. Do you believe this? It's happened to Yonah. And then, the chapter 2 is uh, starting. He start, he know God sent, save him by the fish. But he looks like the darkness, like the hell uh, inside the fish. You imagine if you are inside the fish, what happened? So messy inside. So he start to pray and cry out God sorry sorry I I make the wrong decision something like that you ask me to go there but I try to run away and then save me so he pray in the two chapter two three and four I read it you hurl me into the deep into very heart of the sea and then current swear about me, all your wave and breakers swept over me. I said, I have been banished from your sight, yet I will look again toward your holy temple. So after he prayed, and then I said, I will look again toward your temple. Then meaning, I will follow you. And on the 6th and 7th, he repented. To the root of the mountain, I sank down. The earth's pennies bear me in forever. But you brought my life off from the pit, O Lord my God. When my life was the ebbing away, I remember you. Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. So he repented to God inside the fish the after three days. And finally, of verse 9, but I, with the song of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you what I have bowed, I will make. Good. What I 
have bow as the prophet, prophet the servant of God, and I will make good salvation come from the Lord. He declared the only you can save the salvation come from the Lord. And what happened? The Lord command the fish and its vomit the Yonah onto dry land. We don't know which area the big great fish vomit him to the land. Maybe some seaside is the in along the Mediterranean. Uh, we don't know. But from there he walked to the Nineveh, the original place where God asked him to go. And what he asked to uh, Yonah is the chapter 3. Uh, chapter 3, verse 3. Yonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was the very important city. A visiting requires three days. He take a walk three days. Uh, not the three. Inside the, inside the city, you take a walk. It takes three days inside the city and the world, the big world. On the first day, Jonah start, started into the city. He proclaimed, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned. 40 more days, the Nineveh will be overturned. The Nineveh believed God. We do not know the, those people, Nineveh, they also, they are many God. But the, they also, some, the believe. The Assyria, they have a own God, but the, this Nineveh, the capital, those people, they already know the God of Hebrew. So Nineveh believed God. They declared the fast. And all of them, from the greatest to the least, put on sacks clothes. Even the king come, declare, and pronounce the decree, the fast, nothing to eat. And then everybody wear the sack clothes. And because Jonah expect the God choose the Hebrew people the Jewish today. And God only blessing and protecting the Hebrew people the same. But Yuna now, why he run away? God asked him to go to Nineveh, the enemy, the alliance, the foreigner. They are not clean people. And asked them to go there to proclaim. And Yuna knows the God is always the merciful. Why he pay? Why God pay attention to other nation, other people beside the Hebrew? He is the jealous. Also, he knows this time the we God is the let them disappear. The Assyria is attack them. But why? He sent me to see, try to save them. Because the Yona already know the plan of the God, the heart of the God. So he's the very jealous. Why? Only Hebrew people is very proud. We are chosen by the God. Today, the Jewish people, they are saying, when Jesus come after Almost 700, 800 years that this happened. And then all Jewish people sing. We are only chosen people by God. But in Old Testament, this is the book of Yonah. It's only very unique. God saving other nations. So Yonah was the very jealous. So he did not follow his order. Something like the he do not want God to save also other country alliance. But uh, God 
is something like, you know, this the book of Yona. It tell us the two uh, teaching. It's the giving the something warning, uh, reminding it to the Israel people who are very a uh, arrogant and chosen by God and proud. They only themselves. They don't care about other people. The God is the really breaking that kind of soul and reminding them, you are not alone. I'm going to say. Also, second, is showing the God is something whole nation in this world. He's the common love to share. He's share, tell them, I'm also love everyone, not only Hebrew people. These are two uh, strong and important messages is come from uh, Yonah. So, what happened on the uh, chapter 4 and Yonah was the, Yonah disliked what God done it. So he go on the hill and then uh, under the sun, he tried to watch the Nineveh, whether really God do not punish them or they are saving them. He watching it, and then the God so he is the under the sun is very hot, so he put the one vine leaves like the parasol leaves. So Yona was happy. Oh. God is thinking about me. So he making these leaves. And then he's still waiting to see with the doubting. But next day, the God sending the one, one eating the this, the buying the leaves. The leaves is a patai. So he become under the sun again. And he's complaining it. Why God is making this one? Let the vine leaves is the dying. And he's the angry. And the what God said on verse chapter 4 is 4. is said. And when he said, uh, when God is taken away, the Yonah say, verse 3, Now, O Lord, take away my life, for it is better for me to die than to live. He do not want to really experience what God is going to do to those people. And then he take it out there. And then God said, but the Lord replied, have you any right to be angry? Have you, have you have any right to be angry to me? Because of everything in this world Buhai, Batai, is my work. You do not do anything. And then he is the said, he you are complaining one bind leaves is the already gone. But I am thinking about the hundred and twenty thousand people inside the Nineveh, the city. I am more they are more valuable life. That is the, uh, after that, because the Yona is still complaining in the last part of the uh, Yona that uh, still the God is asking, do you have a right to angry about mine? I do. He said, I am angry enough to die. He still not follow the God. I'm still angry. But the Lord said, you have been concerned about this vine. Though you did not tend it or make it grow, it sprang out overnight and died overnight. <laughs> but Nineveh has more than 120,000 people who cannot tell their right hand from their left and many cattle as well. Should I not 
be concerned about the great city? There is the 120,000 people, also many cattle, animals there, the life. That is the God said, I am concerned. But Yonah said, they are not Hebrew. You do not choose them. And he still complained. This book is the never say how Yonah finally reaction. But the book is finished at that sentence. It's very interesting. And then the many the Jewish people think maybe God chooses us, but the, we do not follow what He asking. Also, maybe the God want to use us to extend the share the news of the God, but they just uh, keep by themselves. This is the kind of the representing the Hebrew people uh, what you really have to do. So uh, you have time. You read this the Yonah today. Just the four page is very interesting. And what is the message there? Those who save by God through his the son Jesus Christ. We have obligation to tell the news, good news, the gospel to those who do not know God, who do not accept the Jesus Christ. That is the message to us today. So you and me, we have been saved. We ought to share the gospel to those people who do not know about this one. Like the Yonah, we have such kind of heart. God saved me, but how come he asked me to save that very bad guy? I saw he never been saved. He had no right to save. He's the murderer. He's the cheater. No, we have some people around us. In our eyes, he's no nothing. He cannot be saved. But God never, never saved such kind of person. That is the kind of the Jonah's soul. So he flee to the other way. Maybe we and you sometimes we also do the same thing. But eventually the God's heart he loved everyone. Regardless who are they, what are they, when they come like the Nineveh, the people, they are fasting, they kneel down, they put the ash to them, where the a sackcloth come to the God, the asking forgive. God is merciful. He giving the forgiveness and save them. You are the one who tell this good news to those to your friend. You have some people in your heart, in your soul. I never contact him again. I will not talk him again. He hurting me so much. That person, why don't you contact him today? Why don't you share, asking him how are you? And tell him about Jesus. God will be with you, giving you power to carry out this thing. Today the word in the uh, daily bread said, Jesus death on the cross rescue us from our sin. Jesus resurrect after three days in the tomb. Yonah was in the fish three days, three nights. God 
making calm. This is the some predict, predict from the Old Testament that Jesus will be saved after three days, rise from the grave. Be strong, share, share your face with others. Let's pray. Father God, we are same like the Yonah. We were saved by you, but sometimes we flee away from your instruction. You ask us to do, but we pretend not to hear. But you want to save everyone who come to you. Even though at our eyes is not no entitlement, no qualify, but we recognize we are such not qualified, no entitlement, but you save us. Give us the power to approach and call them, write them, those the enemy in our heart and approach them to share the good news of God through the Jesus Christ. Using us as your channel to save more soul in darkness the world. Thank you for your blessing again. We pray your only son in Jesus Christ's name all God people said Amen. Amen. I hope everyone to enjoy today also. So I can see you tomorrow.